How's it going, everybody? Drew Nikonovich here. Today, we're going to look at four easy to make mistakes that large format photographers make, especially in the beginning. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a free resource that I've put together to help you try and not make these mistakes, or at least make them less often. Let's get into it. Okay, so this first mistake is so easy to make that I have it baked into my procedure to check that I've not made this mistake twice. And that is forgetting to close the shutter on your 4x5's lens as you're getting ready to make your image. Now, the real issue with this mistake is that you aren't going to notice until it's too late. So usually the way this plays out is you have your lens open, you have your shutter charged and your settings set up, but you forget to close the lens and you go to pull out your dark slide. And then as you're getting ready to take your image, your shutter won't fire and it's because you haven't closed the shutter. So this is a really important one to remember as you're going through your process. And usually what I do is as I'm setting up my lens, I will close it. And then right before I go to remove my dark slide, I will check again. So this next one is kind of in the same area in terms of the procedure. This is another really common one, forgetting to change your aperture and your shutter speed, especially your aperture, because usually the way it goes when you're making an image with a four x five is you will come and you'll find your, your aperture setting here on the front of the lens and you'll open it up all the way so that you can get a brighter image on the ground glass when you're composing your image. And it's very easy to close your shutter, maybe even set your shutter speed, but forget to go back and change that if you make any last minute composition changes or you just simply forget outright. Now there isn't a great solution in terms of how to remember this, it's just that you should kind of stand at the front of your camera and just take a look at everything and go, okay, did I do these settings look correct? And generally speaking, it's a good sign that you've done, you've probably forgotten something if your aperture is opened all the way up. Now this next mistake is something that you're also not going to realize until it's too late, and that is improperly loading your film. Now I have an entire other video showing you how I load film, and you should definitely check it out if this is something you need to learn. I'll put a link down below. But usually the way this rears its head as you're going through your process is you have your film loaded into your dark slide, and two places you'll discover this. Either it'll be all the way at the end of your process, you'll You'll process your film, you get your negatives back, you scan them, and you realize that things are kind of out of focus in a, in a strange way. And usually what that means is you have loaded, and I'll show you, you've loaded one side of your dark slide correctly behind the flange and not correctly on the other side, so it's in front. So the film is actually a little bit out of plane to where it's supposed to be and also out of plane to what you'll look at and see on the ground glass. So that's, that's arguably a worse scenario is only finding out when you get your film back. But the other scenario that can be kind of stressful is if you do it especially wrong or the circumstances are just right, sometimes what can happen is, and it's rare, but I've seen it happen, is you'll go to remove your dark slide and inside your camera, the film will kind of like fall out. And then when you go to put your dark slide back in, either one of two things happen, either the film falls out completely, or sometimes your dark slide won't go in. It'll get kind of jammed on that piece of film. And that's obviously stressful because you're probably not gonna know exactly what's going on. So anyways, this is something that you can prevent before you even go out to make your images. Just be absolutely abundantly certain that you've loaded your film correctly. Again, I have a video on that if you want to check it out. It's super quick. Can recommend. Okay, last but not least, we have forgetting your dark slide or forgetting to flip it. So dark slides have this beautiful, simple system where on one side it's silver and on the other side it's black. And that's to help you remember whether or not you've exposed a piece of film. So I personally use silver to mean unexposed, and then after the image is exposed, I flip it, and now I know that this frame has been exposed. Well, what can happen often is when you're out shooting, you go to, you load your film, you're good to go, you pull out your dark slide, 
you make your image, and you either forget to put your dark slide back, and then you go to pull out your film holder, and you realize that your film is showing to the light of day. Or what could also happen is you go through this process, and you forget to flip it. So the issue with this is, let's pre again, let's use my example of silver being unexposed. I've made an exposure, and I've done it correctly for all other purposes, but I've forgotten to flip my dark slide. Well, now I'm going to come along, and I'm going to re-expose this, this piece of film. And then that's going to result in a double exposure, which if you're not wanting a double exposure, is going to suck when you come back, and two images you're probably excited to see are sharing a negative when they're supposed to be on their own pieces of film. So what do we do with all of this? Well, I think that one of the best things that you can do when getting started, or even at any point in your process, if you're just a little bit uncertain, you haven't shot large format in a while, and you just want to get back into that muscle memory, is you should write down the order of operations. Alternatively, I've already done that for you. So I've made these little view camera workflow business cards and any purchase you make on standardcameras.com comes with one of these. And on the back side, it has all of the steps. You can also get this PDF and a poster version of this document for free from the website. I'll leave a link below. They're both really beautiful documents. They were designed by a phenomenal designer, Gianluca Alla. I'll leave a link to their website as well below. But this is a great free resource for you to be able to remember and not make some of these mistakes when you go out and you start making some images. And hopefully that leads to a few less negatives wasted, a few less images that you don't have to dream about and instead you can just look at because you didn't make any mistakes. That's all for now. If you have questions, you can let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to reply to you. Alternatively, if you wanna talk shop about photography, the art world, and any of that kind of stuff, you can find me either on Twitch, linked below, or you can join the Localhost School of Art, which is a Discord community, especially for photographers and artists. We run a monthly artist residency and we do a couple other cool things in there and we would love to have you. But that's all for now. Catch you guys next time.